Our experiences with people could be bitter or sweet. Of course, we all desire to have relationships where we can be fully seen, fully heard, and fully loved. My hope is that this podcast will help you navigate your relationships from friendship to dating and marriage so that you too can enjoy beautiful relationships. My name is Onome, and together we're growing and becoming. Hello friends, hello lovely people. Welcome back to another episode of the Growing and Becoming podcast. You've probably seen from the description that this is the final episode for season one. Yes, season one has officially come to an end and I am so excited. I'm excited and appreciative. I really appreciate every one of you who has listened thus far. Thank you, thank you, thank you for always sharing the podcast on your social media. I've been seeing your tags. Thank you, friends. Thank you. Honestly, like I can't explain how I feel when a friend of a friend of a friend who's not my friend or who I'm not even acquainted with just walks up to me and like, oh, I know you. And I listen to your podcast and I really enjoy it. I'm just like, whoa, okay. Honestly, I am so thankful to all of you and I'm thankful to God for helping me to do this, helping me to stay consistent up until this very moment. But don't worry, the end of season one is just the end of season one and it's also the start of something more exciting. I'm already making plans for season two. I'm already reaching out to, you know, different people who I hope to have as guests on the podcast. So, make sure that you stay connected with the podcast on social media because I will be very active on there. I'm feeling all sorts of emotions. You know, I'm happy. I'm sad at the same time, although there's no reason to be sad because whilst I may not be, you know, publishing podcast episodes online, I will be recording, I will be filming, I will be doing a lot of you know, engagement on social media. So the work continues. It's just that we're taking it to the social media world, you know. You don't want to miss out on any of the good stuff that will be happening on social media. So do check the description for the links or the handles to our social media platforms. And I'll be looking forward to engaging with each and every one of you. All right, then into the episode. I want to start by apologizing. You know, it's taking me so long to get to your sticky situations. And this is something that I put out like what? Maybe a month ago. And I'm really sorry, friends. The thing is, I kind of record some of my episodes like weeks ahead. So I have to put those out. And if I've already recorded and edited, then I can't really go back and change it. So this is the first episode where I will be officially launching the sticky situation segment of the gb pod and i'm so excited i think that oof is going to really spice things up but yeah some of you might not really know what a sticky situation is you're probably wondering what is this girl talking about but let me explain so a few weeks ago i decided to start something called the sticky situation now that's just an opportunity for you all to send in your experiences with dealing with people so whether that's relationship drama or friendship drama it doesn't even necessarily have to be drama it might just be you know something that you're dealing with and you probably want me to share my opinion on the matter just so that I can give you my perspective and how I think you should handle the situation. Now, I will not be telling you what to do. I will only be sharing my perspective. But essentially, it's your responsibility to make your choice, right? I'm just here to be some sort of a sounding board. So that's what the sticky situation is. All right, then let's get into it. So this one says, Hi, Honor Man. I have a heavy crush on this guy. And I honestly don't want to, but the feelings keep getting stronger. I followed him on IG and he followed me back, which made things worse because my mind keeps saying there might just be a chance. Please, I need your advice. Hmm. This situation is not very sticky. It's not sticky at all. In my opinion, this is actually quite a simple one. First thing, my good sis, 
please manage your expectations. If this man has not made any advances to you, then there could be several reasons. One, he might not be available. Two, he might not be interested. And that's fine. I know that sometimes it's like, oh, well, I have a crush on this person. Like, look at me. Why is he not giving me any advances? He's not interested. And your self-worth should not be tied to whether or not this man actually gives you any advances. So one thing I would probably advise you to do is to not push it. Don't push your boundaries, you know. You're a babe. Please see yourself as one. See yourself as a spectacular spec, right? If this man sees you, which I believe that he does see you, I mean, he follows you back on it, on social media and in our generation, that might be a thing, right? He has followed you back. I don't know if you guys have, you know, had any form of interactions outside social media. Maybe you actually met him in person or rather from what I'm seeing, it could be that you know each other, you know, face to face and then you followed him on social media right so this person definitely sees you so allow him make his advances and don't over push it like don't do too much don't see i don't know what it is like just give him his space and you know protect your boundaries if this man is interested he will come one thing about men they know exactly what they want and when they see what they want they will go for what they want it could be that this man is talking to another babe which I don't think he should be talking to another babe and you at the same time. I know sometimes, yeah, if some ladies tend to be okay with that. Like if he's talking to someone else and you, he's weighing his options, blah, blah, blah. And then you are now secretly competing with another woman for a space in a man's life. God forbid, don't ever do that. So make excuses and just leave it, right? Keep doing your thing. If you want to get to know this person, you can message him you know ask him one or two things about himself people like to talk about themselves you can just be normal be casual try to strike a friendship with this person if he's forthcoming as a friend then you can now gauge how he views you you know in terms of wanting a relationship with you because maybe he just wants to be friends right so please manage your expectations well you think that there might just be a chance there might be and at the same time there might not be so just manage your expectations to be honest him following you back on instagram might not mean anything he probably just followed you back because he's familiar with you he's acquainted to you not necessarily because he fancies you so please unless a man has explicitly said that he's interested in you romantically please don't get your hopes up and sometimes even when they say so right you still need to apply wisdom and be sure that this is actually somebody you want to be with so i would say that just get busy a crush is a crush honestly you will die get busy do other things with your time go out with your your female friends find a hobby find something worthwhile to do so that that crush will die right or if you don't want it to die well i don't know what to say but personally i am not in support of you know women asking men to date them right you can make advances you can probably let him know that you do have a crush depending on the level of interaction that already exists right just get to know this person casually and do other things with your time so that that crush can actually calm down and you can actually be friends with them first right i really hope that helps you and obviously i'm rooting for you it seems like you are at a point in your life where you are desiring a relationship and i pray that you find a man who sees you and who is willing to go above and beyond to get your attention but yeah know that men are very intentional beings if a man sees a woman that he's interested in he will go for her and if a man sees a woman he's interested in and is slacking to go for her then that's a man who doesn't know what he wants I don't even think that's a man you want to be with. So just allow him figure himself out. Allow him come to that place of awareness for himself. And out of that you know, sense of awareness, he will then pursue the things that he wants. That's a serious minded man. But yeah, I really hope that this helps. Please don't go pushing yourself on this man. All right, then to the next sticky situation. Um, This one says, hi, Noms. I've been in a relationship. First of all, Noms. Okay. I'm already getting nicknames. I love that you guys are comfortable enough with me like that. Oh, love it. 
Hi, Noms. I've been in a relationship for over a year now. I am a gifter, so throughout the course of this relationship, I did gift a lot, but I've never once received a present. I brought it up, and his response was, I expect too much, and... Um, okay, this person is asking, what should I do because I'm mentally ready to move on? Girl. Okay, now this one is sticky because, eesh, he's never once gifted you. Like, not even once. Like, not even like a quick, a quick, quick snack. A quick, quick, you know, um, bounty chocolate bar or Mars chocolate bar. That's actually wild, you know. Honestly, I don't know what to say. <laughs> it looks like we have a case of a stingy boyfriend. Girl, I mean, I really don't know the full context. Now, I don't know if you're exaggerating. Like, this man has actually never, ever gifted you. I mean, <sighs> hmm. I think that's a red flag, right? Because it strikes me like this man is a bit stingy. But maybe he's going through financial difficulties. And I imagine that that's something that a boyfriend will share with his girlfriend. So if he's in a bad place financially, he should be able to share that with you and you should be able to understand. I really hope you're not a material girl. I don't support materialism. Okay? In this podcast, we do not condone materialism. Agreed. But one year of a relationship and this man has never gifted you once. That's a problem. One thing I always say to people is if you are in a relationship, right? Try to, you know, write out the pros and cons of being with this person, right? Does this person add value to your life otherwise? Or is it just this one thing? Is it just this one issue that you have with them? It might be something that you need to pray about, you know, actually check how this can be remedied. So from what you're telling me, you've actually had a conversation with him about this and he seems to be gaslighting you. And if you are a committed follower of this podcast, you will know that I do not condone gaslighting. You must learn to take people's feelings into consideration. I'm all for that. No matter how irrelevant or silly it might be to you, you must acknowledge people's feelings and actually do the work to do the things that makes them happy. And... If this is something that matters to you, your boyfriend is expected to make those sacrifices to make sure that he, you know, meets you where you are. That's an ideal relationship. That's an ideal situation in my opinion. Now, if this is something that is a deal breaker for you, that's fine. I know people who would not be with a stingy person. Personally, I wouldn't be with a stingy person because if if in this one year of your relationship, he has proven himself to be someone who is not generous that would be a problem later in life. Maybe if you get married, you have kids, this would be somebody that you'd be afraid to even tell him, oh, food stuff has finished in the house. I need money to take care of myself, pamper myself. I mean, one of the responsibilities of a man or a husband actually is to provide. And you will know someone who is actually willing to, you know, shake body as my Nigerians will say, you know, you know someone that is willing to just do something nice for you from time to time from your dating phase. So if whilst you are dating, this person is showing showing traits of strong hands, he is not giving you anything. No, that's that's problematic. Now I wouldn't say that you should end things with him, but it seems to me like you are already moving on from this relationship. That's entirely up to you. That's entirely your decision to make. I do agree that, you know, this is a problematic situation. I do think that a man who is stingy might not necessarily make a very great partner. And if he's teachable, if he's someone who's teachable and actually listens to you, you know, you calling out the fact that this is problematic, a teachable man will go, oh, I see that. Okay, I'm going to try to be better. And then both of you will work on it so that he can be better. Because I do believe that our different experiences have shaped how we approach life and how we approach our relationships with other people so maybe his childhood or his upbringing or the experiences that he has had in previous relationships has made him sort of adverse to giving financially in a relationship so these are things that you need to actually talk about your man can actually learn to be more generous it's you can learn that if he's not willing to talk things through and if he's just shutting you down then that's a problem if you both have a counselor or a mentor you might want to actually go to counseling and unpack whatever that problem is before you you know 
just kind of end a relationship unless you think that's not the only thing and this is just probably one symptom of a bigger sickness that is brewing in that relationship so um, i think that's for you to have a think about so have a conversation with a mentor or a counselor and see how you both can resolve this but yeah i'll be praying for you and i really pray that whatever situation is happening there is resolved and i hope that this advice actually helps you but yeah thank you darling thank you so much for sharing um i really hope that you're able to deal with this amicably and with wisdom of course and remember to pray about it let god guide your decisions all right but yeah thank you thank you guys so much for sharing your sticky situations it's such an honor and a privilege to be a part of your lives in such a big way thank you for trusting me with your life experiences and thank you for considering me worthy to share my opinions and prefer advice to you and honestly that was such a delicious segue into the main thing i want to talk about on today's episode and that is finding someone worth dating like there's a how to know somebody that is worth dating sometimes when you hear ladies talk about the kind of men that they want they'll say oh i want an intentional man but what does that look like what is an intentional man who is an intentional man someone can be intentional about not loving you well that's intentionality they are consistent they are committed towards it whoever you end up with should be willing and committed to adding value to your life your man should be invested in you he should be invested in you know bringing the best out of you he should be committed it's one thing for him to say he's going to do those things he needs to be committed to doing that and commitment is showing up even when it's difficult even when the 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 chips are down you know this man will still want to sacrifice something to make you happy vice versa obviously right but i'm just focusing on women you know just kind of keying into the situations that we've heard today your man should be committed towards helping you grow and become the best version of you you want a man that will pour into you even when it's not convenient for him commitment means that he will still do the things that you like irrespective of what you may or may not have done to deserve it so even on your worst days on your bad behaviors this man will still love you and pour into you he will be intentional about adding value to your life regardless of the circumstance that is intentionality another thing that you should look out for in fact pay very keen attention to this look out for a man who is self-aware a man who is aware and confident in his identity so you don't want a man who doesn't even know himself because if he doesn't know enough about himself how can he know what he wants and that's where you see a lot of guys that are just like time wasters you know womanizers jumping from one woman to the other you know he could be insecure about something because a man that is confident in who he is and he's aware of where he's going he's aware of his purpose in life that man knows exactly the kind of woman to bring into his life so if you are talking to a man and he's talking to you and talking to multiple women trust me that man does not know who he is he does not know what he wants and he doesn't stand for anything that's the worst kind of man to be with don't do that he's not worth dating you want a man who is so self-aware he knows exactly where he is going in life and he knows the kind of woman to watch out for the moment he finds that woman he does what he needs to do to get her and keep her and to nurture the relationship so you don't want a man who who has low self-esteem right a man who finds his self-worth in the number of women he can bag that is childish please we're not doing teenage love here if you're serious about dating somebody with the prospect to marry you must look out for a man who is self-aware a man who knows his onions and more importantly if you are a christian girl you definitely want a man who is aware of his identity in christ you want a man who is solid in his convictions a man who is so confident in himself as a child of god because our relationships are worship to god i hope you know that your relationship is worship to god so you need a man who is equally grounded in his faith a man with whom you can actually grow even more to become a better believer than you are today 
You don't want a man who is going to dwindle your spiritual life. You want a man who is going to fuel it with you. A man who is aware of where he's going will be a good leader. You don't want someone who just wakes up every day and is clueless about life. They don't even know where they're going. They don't know what they believe in. They're still navigating life. Mind you, it's not a bad thing for a person to still be navigating life. We all are in some sense. I'm still navigating my life, right? But I'm aware of where God is leading me, right? So you as an individual listening to me right now, you should be aware of where God is leading you. You should be constantly working and partnering with God every day. Every day you're living out your purpose. Now, what I'm saying is that you don't want a man who is not even making any efforts towards finding out who he is. Now, hear me out. I think that it is better off for you to date someone who has actually sat down with God to understand their purpose on the earth. It's better off that you let people go on their journey with God. Relationships can be a distraction, right? Instead of someone actually spending time at the feet of God, learning at his feet, you know, seeking him to know why they exist in the first place. Now they are distracted by the relationship they have with you. You don't want that. So if you find a man who is a bit unsure of where he stands with God or where he stands in life in terms of his beliefs, I think it's better that you let him figure that out outside the relationship. At least the fundamental beliefs, especially as Christians. You want a man who knows exactly what it means to be a follower of Christ and can partner with you in that relationship to see that you both fulfill the calling of God on your lives as individuals and as a unit. So please stop entertaining time wasters. Stop entertaining men that are talking to you and other ladies at the same time. I don't care how handsome he is. I don't care how much he comes to church and cleans the pews. Bro, you don't want that for yourself. So you need to go for a man who is self-aware, someone who has convictions and stands by them. You don't want to be in a relationship with a man that you don't even trust where he's going. So where's the relationship going? If he doesn't even know where his life is going, how can he lead the relationship anywhere? And of course, a man who knows what he wants, right, will go for the woman that he wants towards the future that he sees, the vision that he has. You want a man who will be able to share that vision with you. Imagine dating somebody. You want to be married, but this person doesn't have any plans to be married. Why are you dating him? He's not worth dating. Unless you're just dating to waste your time. And as I said, you should not be doing that. Your dating should have a purpose. It should have a sense of direction. Where is the relationship going? So I'm really praying for all the ladies out there and the men as well that you find somebody who is intentional about loving you the way that you want to be loved who is intentional about making your relationship work someone who is self-aware and confident in themselves so that you are not stuck in a cycle of confusion and regret you don't want that but yeah that's everything that i want to share with you today oh my god i can't believe this is the end of season one but yeah, it's been such a beautiful journey. Thank you for sticking with me up until this point. I am honestly so grateful. Thank you to all of you. And as I said, I'll be doing a lot of engagement online because my vision for Growing and Becoming Podcast is a community. I don't want to just release episodes here and there and I don't really know who's listening. So I'm going to commit the next one month-ish towards knowing all of you so let's get to know one another keep sending in your sticky situations i'll be doing instagram lives i'll have guests you know join in one thing i also plan to do is a meetup people who live in my city we can all meet up and do something nice we can have a picnic the weather is getting a lot better so that's something that i'm definitely planning but don't worry, I won't be leaving you high and dry. I will be posting some short clips, maybe about five to six minutes long every week from the old episodes, especially for people who are just joining this community, our new listeners. Welcome, by the way. But yeah, I'll be doing that just so that you are reminded of some of the things that I've talked about previously. I don't think that podcast should be listened to just once. I think it's nice to have a reminder you know, we constantly need to be reminded of the things that we supposedly know. And as I share those clips, I really hope that they will bless you and they will help you in whatever season of your relationships that you are in at the moment. But yeah, thank you so much, my darlings. It's been such a great ride. Um, do well to listen to old episodes. Go on YouTube. Listen, if you haven't been to my YouTube channel, what are you doing? Go on YouTube, follow the channel 
subscribe rather subscribe isn't it <laughs> subscribe to the channel and watch the videos like the videos right put a face to this lovely voice but yeah thank you so much everyone cheers to the end of one season and to the start of even bigger things for the gb pod i love you all so much take care bye Thank you for staying till the end of this episode. For questions, feedback, and sponsorship inquiries, send us a DM on Instagram at GB double underscore podcast or email us on the GBpod at gmail.com. See you on the next episode.